All right, so if you guys click this video, you're here for one reason. You're trying to make a gunna type beat, but you don't play the guitar, and that guitar VST you have just isn't working out how you thought it would be. But that doesn't matter anymore, because I got something that's going to bring your guys' guitar beats to a whole nother level. Let's get it. All right, so it's not really a secret, but uh, Looper Man, Minor to Go, it's the dude that makes like the most fire guitar loops and piano loops. I mean, this guy has probably... 20 hits under his belt. It's pretty wild, actually. But, but basically, Looperman is a royalty-free loop service. You just download any of these, and they're completely royalty-free. So, so I'm going to get started with this beat, and I'm going to go find a loop. All right, so here's the loop I just found. It's a guitar loop that I thought would fit a Gunna-type beat pretty well. So I'm going to download this real quick and bring it into FL. All right, so I got the loop in FL now, and on Looperman, it said it was 140 BPM and in G-sharp minor. So I have it set to 140 and have the loop tracked out to the fir uh, first mixer track. Well, I'm going to move it there real quick. There we go. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pitch this down 100 semitones to make it G minor. And let's listen to that real quick. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is make it sound a little bit more like a sample. So I'm going to bring the loop into Fruity Slicer and chop it up. So I'm going to change it to pattern mode. We're going to go into this Fruity Slicer tab, turn off D-click, auto fit and auto dump, and then change the cut to beat and bring the tack up a little bit. Now let's listen to that. All right, so after listening to that, you can tell it has a lot more swing now. So now I'm just going to mess with these two settings, the pitch shift and the stretch. All right, I like that. So now I'm just going to add some effects to it real quick. Try and make it sound a little more spacey. All right, so first I'm going to add isotope vinyl. Just to mess it up a little bit, I'm going to bring this year knob down to like 1970. Just basically just like a high pass. And then I'm going to warp it a little bit. All right, now I'm going to add some EQ. I'm going to add this Valhalla plate. Bring the decay up to four seconds, make it nice and long. Bring the size up to make it wider. And then uh, let's bring the mix down. I'm also going to add an SSL comp to this just to make it a little smoother and louder. So that sounds good to me. Now I'm just going to start adding some drums real quick. All right, to duplicate this over eight bars, I'm just going to highlight the first four and then hit Control-B to duplicate it. Now I'm going to add a hi-hat real quick. Turn this clap up a little. Now the way I choose my hi-hats, I just let the beat play and just start clicking through hats to see which one sounds the best, in my opinion. So I'm going to trim the out knob on it to make it sound a little more clicky. All 
right, so the way I do my hi-hat rolls is I just play the beat and try and imagine what would sound good where. I always start out with a half step, just add some simple little rolls. So Wheezy actually produces a lot of Gunna beats, so something I noticed Wheezy does a lot is he does these hi-hat rolls that go down in pitch like this. Duplicate this one, I just held shift and dragged it on my keyboard. Alright, so that sounds good, so I'm just going to duplicate this over to the next 8 bars. Now I'm going to add some snares, perks, and uh, open hats. I'm actually going to layer a snare with the clap as well. Alright, I like that, so I'm going to go into the first snare. Highlight the first 4 bars, duplicate it over, hit Control K on my keyboard to go to the other snare and duplicate that over as well. I was finding an open hat. Alright, so I like this one, but I want the snare to stop when the piano note stops. For example, I want it to cut off right here. So what I'm going to do is go into the envelope settings and turn down the attack, bring the hold all the way up, and then everything else all the way down. So this way it'll stop when the note stops. Alright, so I like how that sounds, so now I'm just going to add an 808. And always make sure your 808s are in key to do that, just click your 808, right click on the waveform, edit an audio editor, click this button right here, go to, go to detect pitch regions, and it'll tell you what it is right here. So I'm going to set this to A, because the longest region is an A. Base one got them bands, ho. Alright, so this is what the 808 sounds like. Oh, before we do that, always make sure to click cut itself on the 808 so the notes don't over overlap. And also, I'm going to add a soft clipper. Alright, so this is what the final 808 sounds like. Alright, so now I'm going to add a kick real quick. So I'm not going to just add the kick on every 808 hit. I'm going to add a little bit of variation just to make it hit a little harder. Alright, now I'm going to add a flute because I thought that would sound pretty cool. Alright, so this is what the flute sounds like that I added. Alright, so I'm going to mix and match this beat real quick. Then you guys are going to hear it after, but that's all I got for now. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And make sure to subscribe to see some more. Peace out.